Hello guys, welcome on Primavera Institute Forum and uh, in today's uh, video I'm going to share with you top tip number 003 and uh, in this short video I will share with you uh, some uh, problems uh, which a planner or uh, scheduling guy is going to face while working on Primavera software that's about activity ID so let me share with you dashboard of Primavera software and here you can see there is a one column about activity ID and uh, what happens sometimes uh, you can see that uh, every activity uh, having a sequence a 1000 a 1010 20 30 40 but sometime when we mistakenly click on some area it will be uh, shuffled okay so how it will look like if like, let's see if i'll click like this it will look like this way your activities are up and down not maintaining the sequence you have already set while defining your scope management okay you can see activities are in different scenario and now you can see another arrangement is in front of you so while coaching to my students uh, my, uh, i have observed this thing that a lot of people working on primavera are facing this problem so it's very easy to uh, get solution about this problem you have to just take your cursor in this area where you can see activity id column is written over here okay you can see right now in this area you can just click on this and you you will find just click one more time until you will get the required sequence now you have the same sequence you have to just click in this area click once if you and observe the sequence if it's not yet done as per your preset sequence you have to click it again okay so in, uh, it will uh, get back to its uh, original sequence once you will keep on clicking on this area this is the first thing second thing people uh, used to ask me that uh, uh, is it standard that you have to put only this activity id or you can change there is a 10 number difference between each activity id so what is the standard it's not like that uh, this is not standard this is by default working of primavera okay so sometime in project uh, planning your project manager will uh, instruct you that you have to put your certain numbers belonging belonging to that project summary okay so how you can change that thing you have to click on edit once you will click on edit you will be given here in drop down window the renumbered activity ids so what you need to do you have to just click on this area and uh, if uh, for that before that uh, you, what you need to do just close this dialog box and uh, control a on your keyboard you will uh, just uh, select all your activity table then you go into activity uh, edit and uh, open this renumbered activity id and now you have to click on first by default is this one it's written already over here 10 as per our activity is following right now and now you want to follow your company given uh, has given you activity ids you have to incorporate that facility so what you need to do you have to just click on auto numbers and put here any number like uh, e then let's say okay and uh, increment value is one that's okay and uh, okay now you can see your each activity is as per your requirement just click on your activities uh, for the specific uh, uh, e, let's say this area is going to start with e this is going to start with d so at that moment you have to just select and change uh, overall your activities in this area and then go for this area with the same um, command I have just shown you on Pramavera. So this is the way you can change your activity ID uh, numbers. You can change the differences, what you want to be, uh, keep in the increment value, and you can get your required activity ID sequence. And the second.